Hey, I'm Steve Walter and today I wanted to talk to you about matching exposures in Lightroom Classic. It's time for a Tuesday Tips. So let's pop into it. Here I am in Lightroom Classic CC and what I have is uh, a shoot that I did not too long ago. Really the reason why I grabbed these images is because if you find yourself in a situation where you're shooting and lighting conditions are changing, you might use an auto setting like aperture priority or shutter priority. Or even if you're shooting manually, you might find that even as you discover here right behind me is that light is shifting and changing. So some of your exposures, depending upon the metering mode that you're using, might shift a little bit. A third of a stop, two thirds of a stop, maybe one stop or more. So what you'll find is that when you're going through these images and you're trying to get them all consistent, you have to go through and manually adjust each one, increase exposure, decrease exposure. There's an easier way to do that. So that's what this tip is about. So this tip is about saying, hey, I have a batch of images that I want to deliver and their exposures are slightly different, how do I get them all to be the same? Well, Lightroom has that for you. So here I am in the library in the grid view and what I'm talking about is this menu up here in the photo menu under develop settings, this little guy right down here, match total exposures or option shift command N. It's funny, I always say command first, so when I read a shortcut like this, I get thrown off. So for me, it's command option shift M, same shortcut. Anyway, that's just my neuroses. Sorry about that. Anyway, what that does is that says, take the images that I'm selected and get them to match based on one image that I have what's called most selected. Let's talk about that. Lightroom has images that you can select, and then Lightroom has images that are referred to as most selected. It's kind of a weird thing, but I'll show you. So here, right now it's currently grayed out because I don't have any images selected. Right now it's grayed out because I don't have any images selected. So let's select some images. So I'm in the library module in grid view and I'm gonna select all the images so we can start matching exposures. I'm gonna do command A and what I need to do next is make an image most selected. What the most selected image is gonna do for us is that's gonna kind of set the boundary or set the parameter for this is what I want the exposure of all of my images to look like. So I need to do that by just clicking on any one image. So notice right here in the middle, number eight is most selected because it's a little bit lighter than the other thumbnail uh, highlights. So if I click on nine from here, you can see it's most selected. Number three, now it is most selected. So I need to look through this batch of images and say, which one has the exposure that I like and I wanna have blended? I like number 12 down here. Now you can see that I shot with different focal lengths. I was using two cameras at the time, so there's gonna be some variations between them. Even as we look at these images, some of them are a little bit brighter, some of them are a little bit darker, so this is a perfect use case for match total exposures. So from here, I can do Command, Option, Shift, M, and with number 12 most selected, Lightroom is then going to look at the other images, evaluate them, and then adjust exposures. Now, I'm looking at this result and I say to myself, you know what, I kinda don't like what Lightroom gave me, so no big deal, Command Z, let's undo that. Now I need to find a different image, because number 12 doesn't work. I'm gonna try number nine. I'm gonna click on that, I like that exposure. So, Command, Option, Shift, M, and let's see what Lightroom does. That's looking better to me. And once you get to a point where you like how everything is looking, you're good to go. Basically what it's gonna be doing is just adjusting your exposure slider. I can deselect and then now review these images and say, okay, everything looks good. Or if I wanna go back in, for example, number 12, I wanna make that a little bit brighter on my own manually here. I can use the basic adjustment panel, do that. And let's say, hey, you know what? I want all of those other images to match it. So we do the same thing, select all. With number 12, most selected, command option shift M. And what it should do is increase the exposure value and it did of all of the other images. So if you make changes to one image on its exposure value, you can then sync those changes in a very broad sense uh, this way. So it's a helpful tool for you to kind of get things matched as best as possible. You might have to go in and do a little bit of tweaking after the fact, but I think this is a good way to get you close there. Another thing to note too is that you can do this in other areas other than the library module. So I wanna show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna deselect Command D and I'm gonna go ahead and select, say, uh, let me undo the changes that I made. So that way I can kind of have some, there we go. And I'm gonna deselect, and I'm going to select this one, this one, and say this one. So let's say that I am in the develop module. I have number 12 as most selected. I'm gonna hit D on the keyboard, and that's gonna bring me into the develop module. You can see that I have the thumbnail strip right down here, 
And if I'm making changes to this image in the develop module, say I want to make this exposure a little bit darker, right? And maybe I want to pull these highlights back in here. I can still use the shortcut, command option shift M, and you notice the thumbnails will actually change down there. It was really subtle because they're small, but you can make the changes here in the develop module. You can also make these changes in the survey module, which is a module that I really like. So I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to hit N on the keyboard for survey mode. And this is a way for you to sort of see these images kind of as a little gathering, kind of like you're laying them out on a table and you have the ability to compare them. So in the top right, I can see that I have that most selected because it has the white border around it. For example, down here at the bottom, that is now most selected. I like the top right image, so I'm going to reselect that and make that most selected. Sorry, I'm saying selected a whole bunch. Command Option Shift M, and you can see that it increases the exposure value for those other images. So I hope that was helpful. Down and Dirty Tuesday tip where this is a scenario um, if you shoot events, if you shoot outside, even if you're just doing any kind of portrait session and you have light that is constantly shifting on you and your exposure might be pretty good based on the camera settings, um, but sometimes you have to go in and tweak maybe 20, 30, 50, 100 images. Um, I can imagine, you know, shooting a wedding outside maybe, you might have light that's shifting a whole bunch. This is a way for you to very quickly adjust all of them at once. So I hope that was informational. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thoughts, feedback, send that my way as well. Any ideas for Tuesday tips in the future, let me know, happy to share. If you want, you can check out some of the other content that I have over on my Instagram, at Steve Walter Photo. I share Tuesday tips there. They're gonna be a little bit more simplified, so if you want a, a much quicker version, they'll be available to you there. And on my IGTV page, I have some other content too. So if you like what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next week.